Hear the voice. Will they go Brazil is overtaking Thailand as the most popular destination for child sex tourism. Brazilian authorities have uncovered evidence that foreign organized criminal networks, particularly from Russia and Spain, are involved in sex trafficking of Brazilian women. A large number of Brazilian women and children are found in forced prostitution abroad, often in Spain, Italy, the Netherlands, Switzerland, France, Germany and the United States but also as far away as Japan. In Brazil, various organizations are working to mitigate the effects of this insidious trend. As of 2011, the Sentinel program was established to assist local reference centers to provide victims with psychological, social, and legal services. My question deals with the hotel warning signs that I'm seeing at the hotels we've been staying at. And that is warning both in, in Portuguese and in English to, to potential businessmen. Don't you dare sexually exploit an underage child. And the net net of this is you're gonna be in big trouble. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if that is a new thing or when it began or if it represents forward progress. Yeah. Well, Brazil is taking a much stronger stance on children's rights in general, and especially in the southern, more developed part of Brazil. Brazil has been known as uh, uh, there are different statistics that say Brazil has the second highest child trafficking, you know, child prostitution rates in the world. Uh, some say the highest. Um, and so I was getting a reputation for that and was coming under a lot of criticism for that reason. Now in the more developed part of Brazil, which we call southern Brazil, where uh, Rio, Sao Paulo, Vitoria, um, there is a much more of an effort on the parts of the uh, children's rights advocates and the authorities to, to stop child exploitation. So I think here they say it occurs, but I think it very, occurs very much underground. We're up in the Northeast in places like Belém and uh, uh, the Amazon and some of those regions, evidently it, the Recife, it's, uh, uh, it's very prevalent and there's a lot of sexual tourism and apparently they're, they're uh, specially chartered uh, uh, yachts and ships that go into the rivers in the Amazon up in the north and they'll row boats of underage girls out to, the, to, those, to those ships and uh, so it is a, uh, you know, a, big, a big problem here. But fortunately in the south whatever of it exists is, is, uh, is, a, is underground. Slum, favela related, children related issue that you saw 20 years ago and are continuing to work through, totally eliminated, yes, or when is I, that impossible? When I, when I die and go to heaven. <laughs> Good answer. I think it's a long, well, well, long way out because there's going to be inequality yeah. for a long time. That's not something that's, that's going to resolve itself, you know, quickly. And, uh, you know, if you had a, even if you had a forceful allocation of wealth, all that does is it causes the wealth to flee the to flee the country, often it's not going to happen without, you know, violence, and you're not going to, you're not going to, you know, train. There have been places like Zimbabwe, they've tried to do it forcefully, and of course it's been a total, total disaster. Um, so, I think the way, the best way out is through, we say, through, through, through education, so we can improve the uh, people's ability to meaningfully work. Uh, corruption is a huge problem in Brazil still, it's getting better all the time. Uh, but just the corruption is prevalent in the culture and in, in government, unfortunately, and so you don't have an efficient allocation, you know, of resources. Uh, so education, uh, corruption, and uh, uh, and uh, people. I think if they, you know, uh, the growth of the, of the church in Brazil and helping people to 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 make better decisions in their life, you know. I'm John Scheifer in the state of Victoria, reporting for Capital Productions.